this message is for all the men out there that's going through something and you be holding it all in because you're afraid that if you let it manifest, you'll cry. Well, I'm here to tell you that real men do cry. Here's my story. Check it out. He pulled into the driveway, walked in, and closed the door. Now he could let his guard down, alone again once more. He walked into the kitchen, fixed a nice cold drink, stared at the dirty dishes piled high in the sink. He passed the mirror in the hallway. He glanced as he walked by. He didn't pause too long, or he would see a grown man cry. The soap from the shower burned and stung his eyes. Memories flashed how he would laugh to see a grown man cry. He checked all the messages. No calls came in today. He stood alone crying. Be careful what you say. The family he once came home to was gone. They walked away. The fighting, lies, and cheating. They couldn't take another day. Mean words were shouted. He wished he'd never said. He tossed the cold, damp towel on the rumpled, unmade bed. What did the world have to offer? What was he looking for? He pondered all those thoughts as he paced and walked the floor. He fell down on his knees, his face toward the sky. He didn't care what people thought if they would see a grown man cry. Give me one more chance, he prayed to God above. Teach me to be a man, teach me to love. Teach me not to desire the grass on the other side. Teach me to obey your word, it would make me very wise. I would love and cherish my family, my wife by my side. A once proud man humbled himself and cried. As he lay prostrate on the floor, the time had slipped away. The night had passed on by into a brand new day. In the quiet of the morning, he whispered a few more words. Thank you, Lord. You've changed my heart. My prayers have been heard. He got up from the floor sat on the unmade bed. He placed a call to his wife, and this is what he said. I'm sorry how I've treated you. I'm sorry for the things I've done. God bless me with a good wife, a daughter, and a son. She told him she had prayed that he would make the call. Pride before destruction, a haughty spirit before a fall. The grass on the other side may look green from where you stand, but jumping over the fence doesn't prove that you're a man. Look around your own yard. God gave you green grass too. Take care of it, nurture it, cut it. Don't let the weeds grow high. A grown man's not too big to stand alone and cry.